Hello and welcome to another update video about silver. On the silver chart, we have basically an unchanged situation to the last video. I don't think we can confirm yet really that a lasting low has been established there in wave two uh, early in October. Uh, it's a, to be honest, it's a bit of a yeah wait and see here now. I don't think there's any action that's required here at the moment. There is no clear setup, to be honest. This was a setup which the price you know, used to turn around. Um, yes, this could still be somewhat a wave four with a wave five to come. We talked about that in previous videos. However, at the moment, I mean, gold is pushing. I'm leaning towards the idea that also silver has a good chance here to form a five wave move to the upside. It is a bit less clear than gold, to be honest. Um, it is a bit less clear. What I don't like is how sloppy the move to the upside is here off the low so it really is just a little bit of a wait and see at the moment we need to be patient once we have all five waves complete we can be watching for a three wave pullback i've got two bullish wave counts here the first one is the one that you see on the screen here um, it indicates that we are moving up in a diagonal pattern that this here was a wave one um, to be honest, in this scenario, if it's a leading diagonal, I would like to have the wave one here. Um, yep, and then we have a wave two as a flat. Then we have the wave three still unfolding, which would be an A, B, C structure, then the wave four and the wave five. So there's a little bit more patience needed to complete all these wave structures. Uh, there is structural resistance here around the previous swing high. You can see that here, here, here and that is at $23.72. Um, there is however a different structure that could apply here and for that we move the wave one here and then the wave three already topped here. Then this was the four and this is a wave five already in the making. So it's a similar situation to gold where also you know if you watch my gold video from today of you know I made today uh, it could be that gold is already in wave five. It could be that gold is still in a wave three. So similar situation here as well. Um, just that on the gold chart, it looks quite impulsive. Here you can get away with counting it as a diagonal structure, which I only really do because of this deep setback, um, which touched a 61.8 retracement. Therefore, I like this idea of a diagonal that's unfolding. So obviously also wave one would be an ABC, wave three is an ABC. Wave four would be obviously a correction anyway, and wave five would also be an ABC. So that's sort of what I'm watching. Um, and it's a bit of a waiting game now. So I would focus on higher against the last swing low here because a break below that would be invalidation. Um, that's $22.47. But ultimately, what you need to understand on this chart, as long as we're holding the nine, basically the $19 level, the 78.6 retracement of the larger cycle, the overall focus can be on higher, okay? And if I zoom out a little bit more, um, you see here this move up into the, um, let me think. Uh, yeah, this move up into the to, uh, April highs was obviously a wave one. And then here an A, B, C structure to the downside where the B wave was a triangle. And so then we came down in the C wave, finished the wave two, and we would then be able to rally in a third wave. That's the assumption it would take us above $30, but I cannot really justify this scenario anymore if the price breaks below $19 eventually, because a sustained break below the 78.6 retrace would rather emphasize a more bearish interpretation of the chart. But so far this trend reversal area um, did lead to a turnaround here and also most recently the orange one as well. And now we just need to see if we can fill all these waves. I keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. And also if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, then check out our stocks and uh, S&P 500 service. We do also cover the S&P uh, intraday on several days when there is a lot of action. We also cover the NASDAQ at the moment, even though that's normally not included because um, obviously we have some capacity constraints as well. But yeah, that's something um, you might be interested in. Check it out. Link is in the description. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.